you want to set up these annual pots of money. So your money comes in every month, it goes into your bills account, and then from your bills account, you're feeding your annual expenses account. So examples of an annual expense account could be, so mine would be um, kids clubs, um, birthdays, holidays, Christmas, all of those things. So you've got these small pots. And the beauty of being this organized and starting in January um, is that you've got the whole year ahead of you. And so when it comes to the summer and you've saved that money that you've promised yourself you would spend on your summer holiday, you can take the money out of the summer holiday pot and spend it guilt free and really, really enjoying the holiday rather than I know what a lot of people do is they'll put it on the credit card and then have a real holiday hangover when they've got to pay that credit card back. So I think setting up this pot system is really important. Then the other thing that's really important to, main, to retain control is the day that you get paid, you want to fill four other pots. One is your spending pot. So your, the, the money that you know you can spend guilt-free every month on whatever it is that you enjoy. So for me, that would be going out to eat, buying clothes and well, general fun. So that pot has to be filled for you to spend and just be linked to one bank account card that you take out with you. The other things that you need to feed are your um, short-term cash savings account. I'm going to talk to you a lot about that in a minute. Um, your medium-term pot of money, which usually is a stocks and shares ISA as a starting point. And then lastly, it's your pension.